Love is Blind is an ambitious social experiment that exposes the raw truth about romance, that compatibility on personality isn't enough. Three years and six seasons later, it turns out America loves to watch singles get thrown into a blind dating blender. But how did this show even get made? Let's dive into how Love is Blind was created. Love is Blind, a Netflix reality show, tests whether emotional connections can form without physical attraction. Created by Chris Colan, it debuted on February 13th, 2020, exploring deep connections formed in isolation from physical appearances. But how did a show based solely on emotional connections come to life? And what groundbreaking method did its creators use to ensure its participants could truly find love in the most unexpected way? Love is Blind employs a distinctive matching process inspired by the Gale Shapley algorithm, a concept that revolutionizes the way participants engage with potential partners. Chris Colan and Ali Simpson, key figures behind the show, initially handled this complex matchmaking manually, laying a foundation for connections that transcend physical appearances and focus on deep, meaningful conversations. This groundbreaking approach required a meticulously planned filming process to capture the essence of developing relationships under such unique circumstances. The production took place in stages, starting with the pod dating phase, where participants communicated through walls, unable to see one another. This phase was crucial, as it emphasized the importance of conversation and emotional connection over physical attraction. The decision to use the Gale Shapley algorithm as a basis for matching participants ensured that the process would lead to potentially compatible pairs based on their interactions and preferences expressed during these pod dates. The filming of Love is Blind further challenged traditional dating norms by documenting the journey of these couples from their initial conversations in the pods to their engagements and eventually to their experiences living together in the real world. Each step of the process was designed to test the strength and depth of the connections formed without the influence of physical appearances, providing a raw and authentic look into the complexities of modern relationships. The show's unique format and the algorithm-inspired matchmaking process not only captivated viewers, but also sparked discussions about the nature of love and connection in today's digital age. By emphasizing emotional bonds, Love is Blind explores whether such connections can withstand the pressures and realities of life outside the pods, offering a fresh perspective on the search for love. This unique approach begs the question, what does the filming process look like for a show that challenges the very nature of traditional dating? Filming began in Atlanta, Georgia on October 9th, 2018, with the pod sessions taking place at Pinewood Atlanta Studios. The process from pod dating to engagements, followed by retreats in Mexico and living together in Atlanta, unfolds over 38 days. The subsequent stages of the show, from engagements to retreats in Mexico, followed by cohabitation in Atlanta, were meticulously planned to test the durability of these connections in various real-world scenarios. This progression allowed for an in-depth exploration of each relationship, providing viewers with insights into the complexities and challenges of building a lasting bond based solely on emotional compatibility. Behind the scenes, the production team worked diligently to create an environment conducive to developing these deep connections. The pods were soundproofed to ensure privacy and intimacy during conversations, and participants were given the freedom to discuss any topics they desired without interference from producers or crew members. This autonomy was critical for facilitating authentic interactions, allowing participants to navigate their own journeys toward love. Beyond the screen, the logistics of casting and the real-life implications of these engagements raise a fascinating point. How were participants selected and what happened behind the scenes to foster genuine connections? The casting strategy for Love is Blind focused on selecting individuals from the Atlanta area a decision driven by practical considerations, aimed at facilitating the potential for real, sustainable relationships post-show. This geographical focus was intended to mitigate one of the significant challenges of maintaining a relationship, distance. 
By choosing participants who lived in proximity to one another, the show aimed to increase the chances that couples who decided to get engaged during the experiment could realistically integrate their lives together afterward, reducing the logistical complexities that often come with long-distance relationships. During the first season, this casting approach led to eight engagements. However, only six of these engagements were prominently featured throughout the season, offering viewers a glimpse into the diverse outcomes and dynamics of the relationships formed under the show's unique circumstances. This selection was not a reflection of the strength or validity of the unaired engagements, but rather a production decision based on the bandwidth to adequately cover the depth and complexity of each relationship's journey within the confines of the show's episodic structure. The anticipation built by the release of the Love is Blind trailer on January 30th, 2020, was met with an eager audience, leading to a structured release of episodes over three weeks. This release strategy not only sustained viewer interest, but also fostered a growing community of fans and critics alike, engaging in discussions and analyses across various platforms. The show's innovative approach to exploring emotional connections without the influence of physical appearance struck a chord with viewers, offering a fresh perspective on the possibilities of love and relationships. Netflix's decision to renew Love is Blind for additional seasons shortly after the initial series' success is evidence that there's appetite for content that challenges traditional norms of dating and love. The renewal indicates the show's ability to captivate and maintain a significant audience, affirming its place within the cultural zeitgeist of the 21st century. It reflects a broader trend in reality television that seeks to explore deeper, more meaningful aspects of human connection beyond the superficial layers, often highlighted in the genre. Love is Blind has emerged as a cultural phenomenon, prompting viewers to reconsider the foundations of love and partnership. By breaking down physical barriers and emphasizing emotional bonds, the show offers an unconventional yet profound exploration of the journey to find love. Its success and subsequent renewals by Netflix highlight the evolving landscape of reality TV and the ongoing fascination with the complexities of human relationships. As Love is Blind continues to evolve with new seasons, it remains a pivotal exploration of whether love can indeed be blind, serving as a mirror to society's changing attitudes towards love, marriage, and connection. If you like this video, hit subscribe and visit the channel to learn more about your favorite movies and shows. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.